All right, what's up, Hot Squad? And I'm finally back after last week. I was on hi a short hiatus since I had a bunch of college horn to get done, an English essay had to get done before the weekend. So finally, I'm back once again with reactions. So yesterday, the Game Awards just dropped the 2023 oh, nominations. That's right. So I'm going to check out for the first time. I did really good staying away from the nom nominations yesterday because I wanted to watch the whole video itself. And also, I think it was November 8th. Yes, last Wednesday. Yes. GTA 6, Grand Theft Auto 6 is finally coming with its first reveal trailer early December. They, um, Rockstar President Sam has to say what day, but it's coming early December. So, <laughs> God knows. I'm beyond excited. I'm really beyond excited. I mean, Grand Theft Auto has been one of my favorite franchises of all time. I grew up playing Silent Dreads back 20 years ago, which is crazy, about 2004. And already 20 years later, it's going to be 20 years old. It's like, it's, that's, that's unbelievable. It's unreal. It feels so unreal that Sam Hauser really actually announced, finally announced his first revealed trailer of Grand Theft Auto 6. So, most likely he might get a release next year. Who knows? I'm not saying it will be, but hey, look, whenever put the date in, it's going to keep us more excited than ever, right? So, God knows. Grand Theft Auto 6 is finally here, y'all. It's finally coming. The reveal trailer is early December. I will be react to it first day. Trust me. I will got a lot to talk about at that time. So, Hot Squad, without further ado, let's check out the Game Awards 2022 nominations right now. Let's check it out. It's about to go down. And now, our feature presentation. Also, before we check out the Game Awards a little bit, I just, I just want to tell you, for the first time ever, I'm going to be using my laptop to record, to um, start watching on my TV so it's much easier. So I can screen record everything, then I can just stroll which video, chapter I can do instead of like going to YouTube to um, experience buffering and whatnot. So it's going to be easier, trust me, it's going to be much easier. So here we go. Also, by the way, I'm going to skip some stuff. To I'm going to the nominations that I care for the most, and the ones that I don't care for, I was going to skip them so make it shorter. There have been so many great games in 2023. Damn, sure has been. December 7th, it's been incredible. Celebrate the best of the best at the 10th annual Game Awards, streaming live everywhere from right here at the Peacock Theater in Los Angeles. I'm Jeff Keeley, and it is finally time to reveal the nominees across more than 30 categories. And to help select the winners, you can vote in all categories starting now at thegameawards.com. <coughs> this is going to be a very special TGA filled with new game announcements from teams around the world. Mm. And in the coming weeks, we will have much more to share. But now, I am honored to get to the task at hand. Here are the nominees as selected by our voting jury for the Game Awards 2023. For best performance. All right, best performance. Before I get started, um, most games I played this year so far is Mortal Kombat One, High Fire Rush, um, Spider-Man Two recently, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it so far. That's pretty much it so far as I know, because I have a lot of games to get through. Trust me, but continue on. Performance. The nominees are, and star as Clive, Final mm. Fantasy Sixteen. One sorry, Final Fantasy 16, that's the few games I have get to play that I'm currently I'm playing that. I will definitely will get a chance to finish it around Thanksgiving. Cameron Monaghan is Cal Kestis, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. I recently just played um Jedi Survivor, I can tell you that. Love Fallen Order and love Cameron Monaghan's performance as Cal. Idris Elba as Saw. Oh, okay, Idris Elba. Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. I've been sleeping on Cyberpunk all God knows how long. I've been sleeping on the game itself because I have the PSF upgrade and I know that Fence Liberty is her was like one of the best DLCs ever. So I need to get a chance to continue that. Melanie Leibert is Saga Anderson, Alan Wake 2. Alan Wake 2, I've yet to buy soon. Neil Newbon as Astarian, Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, Baldur's Gate 3, I have yet to buy as well. And Yuri Lowenthal as Peter Parker, Marvel's Spider-Man 2. Not surprising because I really just beat Spider-Man 2 and I freaking loved it. Yuri Lowenthal's performance as Peter Parker is amazing. Seriously. So far, my favorite performance so far. But I, like I said, I have more games to get through this year. Trust me. For best ongoing game, the nominees are Apex Legends. Okay. Cyberpunk 20. Cyberpunk, okay. Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 14. Fortnite. Fortnite. 
Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact, okay. In the category of best multiplayer presented by Discord. Baldur's Gate 3. Okay. Diablo 4. Mm. Party Animals. Party Animals, okay. Street Fighter 6. Street Fighter 6. And Super Mario Brothers 1. Okay, Mario Bros. Wonder. For best art Which, by the way, I have yet to get Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I heard none but amazing things about the game. Correction R. Alan Wake 2. Okay. Hi-Fi Rush. Oh, yes! Lies. There, if I said Hi-Fi Rush, if I did Hi-Fi Rush to me, I did beat it back in March. I freaking loved it. I'm glad it got recognition. Well, it's getting it got a nomination so far. Of P. Lies of P. Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Okay. And The Legend of Zelda. Tears of Kingdom. Kingdom. Okay. For best score in music, the nominees are Alan Wake 2, composer Petri Alonka. Mm. Baldur's Gate 3, composer Borislav Slavov. Mm. Final Fantasy 16, okay. composer Masayoshi Soken. Hi-Fi Rush, mm. audio director Shuichi Kabo. Great pick, great pick. And The Legend of Tears Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, composed by Nintendo Sound Team. The best audio design nominees... I will be right back, hold on. ...are Alan Wake 2. Dead Space. Oh, Dead Space, nice. Marvel Spider-Man 2 and Resident Evil Resident 4. Resident Evil 4, all right. Best Adaptation recognizes excellence in authentically creating shows, movies, and other creative endeavors based on video game worlds and characters. Here are this year's all nominees right. for Best Adaptation. Castlevania Nocturne. I have not seen Nocturne yet because I have yet continuing Castlevania to show itself on Netflix. It is freaking awesome. I'm actually in season two, by the way. So yeah, I have to catch up with Castlevania. Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo, I saw it when it first came out and I actually thought it was surprisingly pretty damn good. One of my favorite movies of the year. Definitely was definitely surprisingly good. Neil Bonkat did a great job with it. The Last of Us. Obviously this is gonna be Last of Us for sure, because Last of Us is one of the greatest was one of the greatest video game adaptations ever made, if not the best live adaptation adaptation for a video game ever. The Super Mario Brothers movie. Enjoyed that. Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal I have not seen yet, but come let me know and see it's good, because I heard it was pretty good. You know, I'm not a big Twisted Metal fan, but I heard it was surprisingly pretty good. For best narrative, the nominees are Alan Wake 2. Okay. Baldur's Gate 3. Mm hmm. That's surprising. Cyberpunk 2077. Okay, Liberty. Phantom Liberty. Final Fantasy okay, 16. Okay, 16. And Marvel's Spider Man 2. 2. What's your most anticipated upcoming game? Remember, this has to be a game that's officially announced. The nominees are Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Okay, yeah. Hades 2. Hades 2. Which, by the way, um, I beat Final Fantasy VII Remake back in September. Loved it. I have yet to continue Hades soon. Hopefully next month. Like a dragon, like a dragon if okay. Wealth. Like a dragon if the wealth. I have the first one to play as well. Will continue as well. So. Star yeah. Wars Outlaws. Mm, okay. And Tekken 8. Tekken 8. It, it has been so long since I played a Tekken game. You know, I missed out getting Tekken 7 like when it first came out. So hopefully I will get that soon. But Tekken 8 looks promising as hell. It does. Your nominees for best action adventure game are Alan Wake 2. Okay. Marvel. Spider Man 2. 2. Okay. Resident Evil, Resident Evil 4. 4. Star Wars. Yeah, Jedi Survivor. Survivor. Okay. And The Legend of Zelda. Tears of, Tears of the Kingdom. For best role-playing game, the jury selected Baldur's Gate 3. Okay. Final Fantasy 16. Lies of P. Okay. Sea of Stars. Sea of Stars, okay. And Starfield. Mm, okay, Starfield. In the category of best fighting game, the nominees are God of Rock. Okay. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat 1, okay. Nickelodeon's All-Star Brawl 2. Okay. Pocket Bravery. And Street Fighter 6. Mm. The nominees for best action game are... Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon. Mm, okay. Dead Island 2. Oh, really? Dead Island 2. Ghost Runner 2. Ghost Runner 2. Hi. By the way, Ghost Runner, the first Ghost Runner I beat back in summertime, it was one of the hardest games I ever played in my life, man. I was about to rage quit, so. <laughs> I was about to rage quit have that game, so I'm excited for Ghost Runner 2. I hope to God, you know, I hope I get it before next year. Hi for Rush deserve to be here, though. If I Rush and Remedy. Remedy 2, okay. Next up, Best Family Game. The nominees are Disney Illusion Island, Party Animals, okay. Pikmin 4, okay. Sonic Superstars, okay. and Super Mario Mars Mars Wonder. Wonder. The best sim strategy nominees are Advance Wars 1 and 2, Reboot Camp, mm. City Skylines 2, mm. Company of Heroes 3, Fire Emblem Engage, mm. and Pikmin 4. Oh wow, okay. 
All right, you ready? It's time for our final two categories. All right. Best Game Direction, which recognizes extraordinary creative vision and innovation in game direction and design. This year's nominees are Alan Wake 2. Okay. Baldur's Gate Let's get through, okay. Marvel's Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2. Okay. Super Mario mm, Brothers. Super Mario's Wonder. Wonder, okay. And The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Mm. So, I got a huge feeling Mario Wonder might get Game of the Year nomination. Besides, I'll wait to Bars Gate 3, Spider Man 2, and Tears of the Kingdom. Those are my, like, my top four, actually. I don't know what's the, the other one. Okay, finally, on behalf of what's the, the next jury, one besides that? Proud to announce what's, what is it going to be? Nominees selected for outstanding creative and technical excellence. Right, here we go. The nominees for Game of the Year at the Game Awards are. Alan Wake 2. Okay, that's okay. I'll wait to Entertainment. Baldur's Baldur's Gate, Gate 3, 3, yeah. I know that's going to be nominated. Which, by the way, it swept the Golden Joystick Awards, by the way. It, it took at least like seven awards, including Ultimate Game of the Year. So, a lot of people saying it might win Game of the Year for sure. And by the way, Spider Man 2, now surprised made the cut. So, that's three. Marvel <laughs> Spider Man 2 from Insomniac Games. Resident oh, Resident Evil 4. Okay, yeah, Resident Evil 4. Super so my bars wonder. Okay, okay. Nintendo. And the Tears of Kingdom. Tears of Kingdom. Kingdom. There we go. Nintendo. Yep. And there you have it. Those are your nominees for the Game Awards. A highly competitive year for sure, but who will come out on top? Well, you yeah. can help select the winners by voting now at thegameawards.com and on our Discord server. I hope you can join us live on Thursday, December 7th for the Game Awards. The TGA Orchestra will be back on this very stage, and as always, we'll pay tribute to our Game of the Year nominees. And yes, you can expect lots of news and updates on what's ahead for games in 2024 and beyond. So lock in your votes and get ready to celebrate 10 years of the Game Awards. Mm. We'll see you live on Thursday, December 7th. Well, there you have it. December 7th, that's about three weeks, y'all. Three weeks. All right, 7.30 Eastern. Wow. All right, then. Well, um... I know it's the biggest snub, by the way. Hold on. Okay, I'm back on track. But yeah, um, the biggest snub I've noticed so far is no Hogwarts Legacy, never nominated. Um, Final Fantasy 16, not getting game year. And Starfield. I beg your pardon? That's right, Starfield didn't get nominated. Oh, I know, I know everybody, every Xbox, the Xbox fans is going absolutely nuts. <laughs> Not all, but, you know, most ones who always, you know, think Xbox is better, blah, 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 this and that crap. But I'm not going to get to that. But, yeah, uh, Starfield, not nominated for game year. Oh, wow. I mean, <laughs> that's uh, that's going to piss off five people. And I know what it is. I know what it is. Because myself, I'm playing Starfield. I played at least a good 30 minutes of it. I didn't, well, I didn't get a chance to play it when it first came out because I had other stuff to do at that time. So, I'm kind of a little behind. But, yeah. I don't know a lot of people are going to be pissed off about Starfield not being nominated game of the year. I'm sure of it. Trust me on Twitter, of course. But yeah, um, Hot Squad, there you have it. That was my reaction to the Game Awards 23 announcement. So I am definitely will be checking this out. Hopefully I will get to a live stream for it the first time ever. You know, if I got time, that is. But yeah, I will hopefully will react to every single trailer. And who knows, y'all, like I said... Grand Theft Auto 6 might drop at the Game Awards. But if it don't, it might come way earlier. Like... Two or three days earlier than that, which I would definitely be reacting to day one. So, Hot Squad, if you enjoyed my reaction to, to 23 the Game Awards, please hit that button, comment, and share your thoughts about it. What is your top six pick games of the year? What is your top ten? Um, what games are you currently playing right now that came out this year? And basically Game Awards related, you know. And please, please keep it cool in the comments, okay? So, Hot Squad, I have my reaction of Blade Boys Recap. I've got a rat in the rock in a few moments, so please stay tuned for that.